someone invite you so that you can get something from the word of God. Many people are saying, I'm here, Pastor, because I'm looking for someone. Because the great company went, he, they didn't go there because of the disciples, they went there because of Jesus Christ. But the sad story about this, they want some miracles. They want to experience that. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's the wrong reason, and we will know that later on. I hope and pray that the right reason why you are here today, and the right reasons why you're going to come tomorrow for our church anniversary, not because you can have freebies, not because you can eat lunch for free, but because we want to work. Yeah. There are people right now who need the spirit of basic Look with me in Mark chapter 6, verse 34. And by the way, this miracle was written also in the other Gospels. Four Gospels. This miracle was recorded because I believe this is really important. That we can get something from the Word of God in Mark chapter uh, 6, verse 34. What is the need of me? The basic need. We know that they are hungry. We know that they need the food. That's why the miracle happened in five loaves and, and, and two pieces. We know that's the basic need. But Jesus Christ specifically mentioned in verse 34. And Jesus came when he came out, saw much people, and was moved with compassion toward them. Because what? Not because they were hungry. Jesus Christ was moved with compassion because there's a basic need for the sheep. That's the shepherd. That's the basic need for Christians. That's the basic need for members of the church. The basic need for the church is to have a pastor. And let me remind each and every one of us that before you become a sheep, you uh, before you, you become a sheep, you are a good church. The Bible is very clear about that. And to our visitors, I hope and pray that before the end of this message, before the end of this service, you will understand that there is only one way from both, both to become a sheep, and that is through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was moved with compassion, yes, with the food, but more so with the spirit of the Lord. In Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, the Bible is very clear, and I will give you what? Pastor, according to your own heart, according to God's heart, amen? I'm not putting a pastor rescue over here in the past, I'm knowing not. Simply telling that God declares this that He will call pastors according to His own heart, not to your own preference, not to someone else's preference, but according to God's heart. Amen. The calling that God gave to each and every one of us is a sacred one, and Jesus Christ felt that need that need to have a shepherd. A pastor. And again, praise the Lord that we have a pastor over here. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord for all of you who support the pastor. Amen. That's the basic need. There are people here who just stare. There are people here who are bare. But sad to say in Matthew chapter 14, verse 15. Matthew chapter 14, verse 15. There are people over here who don't care. They just don't care. Ah, Sunday I will go to church. I will sit down. I will try to listen. I will sing songs. I will meditate sometimes. <laughs> but after that, I go home. They just don't care. Well, FYI, it's not you. Because in Matthew chapter 14, verse 15, and when it was evening, the same account, the same thing of 5,000, when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. What did they say? Send them away! Send them away! Can you imagine? 
the disciples, the cream of the crop, the one that were chosen by God, by Jesus Christ himself, called by Jesus Christ, under the leadership of Jesus Christ, telling Jesus Christ, impact that this world needs is not about being so high-minded, being so intellectual, but being Love, over small things, he said, it was love that Jesus Christ hung on the cross for you and for me, so that we can gain salvation on the there are people over here who stare. There are people over here who are there. There are people over here who don't care, but I hope and pray that we must care. Amen? Yes. Some to say also that there are people over here, in, just like in our story, who love to compare. In our text, in verse 7, um, if we answer 210 words of bread, it's not sufficient for them that every one of them may take a little. He compared his limited resources to the unlimited resources of God. And that's the problem. We do want to compare. Ah, uh, how I wish I could solve this, uh, this problem on my own. When we can't, God knows. God is the one who can help us. God is the one who will provide for our things. And if we try to compare our own limitations to God's power, we can never understand it. God moves in mysterious ways. We must be, we must not be like Psalm 78 verse 41, that we must not limit God of Israel. Amen. We won't. We must believe that God is the one who will answer our need. Please take note that before this feeding of 5,000, they experienced already many miracles. In book of John alone, in the first miracle that happened, when water changed into wine, the second over here, uh, uh, Ch the Christ that healed the noble's son in chapter 4 and, and chapter 5, Christ heals the important man. Uh, miracles after miracles after miracles. Yet, Philip answered, Lord, I compare this 200 penny word, it's not sufficient for the need. Well, His ways are not bad. He's strong. And also, the Bible is very clear that we should not compare our own resources to others. The Bible is very clear in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. For we dare not make ourselves in the number or compare ourselves with some that commend themselves but they measuring themselves by themselves and they comparing themselves among themselves. What is the answer? Why not? The moment we compare the blessings of others and time we wish our own. Over here. It's the beginning of the yes. 
everything that you compare as what the Bible is telling. How I wish yung pastor dyan, nagpulang buwa po ng pastor nyo. God calls individual pastor. There's no comparison. And if you will do so, testimony of your faith in him to baptize thee my dear sister in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Buried in the likeness of his life. Amen. 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 Am